Hi there folks, now today I want to share with you a very simple trend following strategy that you can basically use on any time frame. Now, if you've been following me over the years, you'll know that I started my trading career over 35 years ago now in the trading pits in the city of London there with our brightly coloured jackets shouting and screaming at each other all day long. Now, in those days, which I think were actually easier than it is today, we didn't have all those technical indicators there that are now confusing us. We didn't have all the MACDs and Bollinger Bands. We had pure price. If the markets were shouting, buy them, buy them, buy them, then the market was going up. And if the market turned around and all the traders were saying, sell them, sell them, sell them, the market would often go down. And with that, we were able to predict, predict uh, the trends. But of course, it's all about when you get into a trend, which is really, really important. I'll tell you now, any trend following strategy will make you money if the markets are trending. The problem is knowing when to get into that trend and indeed knowing indeed when the trend is in play. That's what we're going to discuss today. Now, you may have seen my one, two, three, four reversal strategy a few uh, weeks ago. I'll leave a card here on the screen. You can check that out in your own time. It basically uses the same type of price action, but this time with a trend. Now, I'll be talking about it uh, specifically on the one hour time frame with a four hour anchor chart and the uh, daily um, as my uh, sort of guide to make sure that I don't run into any resistance or support on the higher time frame. But it's a very powerful strategy. So I encourage you to go away and do some back testing after this and maybe then implement it into your trading. I'll say this before we get onto the screens. Most traders are failing at the moment. Most traders are fading the prop firm assessment accounts because they don't have a strategy. They don't have a set of rules that they implement on each and every trade. They're just basically flying by the seat of their pants, as it were. You need to have a strategy and it doesn't need to be complicated. And boy, this is not complicated. Come on, let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a quick look then at the one, two, three, four trend following strategy. Now you can use this, as I say, on any uh, time frame. Um, what I'm going to do now is basically show you on the higher time frames, but of course, uh, as I say, you can drill down if you wish to. It's called one, two, three, four, basically because there's four points um, of interest that we need to identify um, in order to enter the trend. Okay, now the first thing I want to say is it does use and I encourage you to use the top-down analysis approach. I'm sure you've heard that before. Basically, we look at the higher time frame to decipher the direction of the trend. Okay, And I use just three moving averages. Now, these are the only indicators that I do use uh, with this strategy. It's, just, uh, it's a visualization of the trend. It helps me identify a strong trend. And the moving averages I use are the 10, 20, and the 50, exponential moving averages, the EMAs. Now, ideally, you want these fanned out. Now, the bigger, the wider the fan, the more um, uh, the more they're separated, and the bigger the angle of direction, the stronger the trend. Something like this, for example, is a very, very strong trend. Of course, it's a, it's a PowerPoint, so it's going to be. Um, but the stronger the trend, um, the better it is for this. And this is going to be on the four hour time frame. Um, now, just before I get into the actual price um, sort of patterns that we're looking for, uh, I always want to say I always look at the daily chart as well. I haven't got a screenshot of this, but I look at the daily chart to make sure that I'm not coming into any key level of support or resistance. So generally on a beginning of the week, I'll plot in my key daily levels. I just won't take the trades through those levels. That's really hard to do as a trader, not taking a trade when everything is setting up perfectly, but it will really help your win uh, to loss ratio if you just sit on your hands um, and don't trade through these key key levels on the daily and indeed uh, on uh, the weekly. Okay, so this is the one, two, three, four. Um, this is a bearish trend continuation trade. Now we're going to enter with the four hour as the anchor chart, that's the, the higher time frame, that's the, the direction of the trend. Uh, but we're gonna enter on the one hour, the 15 minute or the five minutes. I encourage you to go and test all these. 
you can spend a whole bunch of time going back in time looking for these setups and they're really really uh, quite simple as you know trends never move uh, in a straight line you always have a pullback before the continuation and then a pullback and continuation as uh, traders decide to take profits respect other levels uh, and so forth and point number one is at the initial pullback so this is the initial support zone we call that uh, point number one then you have the pullback to a swing high the swing high we call point number two and for trend to continue we see the uh, impulsive move continuing down to point number three taking out point number one it's a lower uh, low so the trend is continuing but where do we enter well we enter on the pullback that pulls back into the previous level of support. It's very, very simple. You've got to have rules to enter the trend. You never want to be setting at the bottom of candles or bars. You never want to be buying at the tops of candles or bars. So basically it's uh, very, very simple. We look to see a pullback into uh, the previous level of support and we call that point number uh, one there. When it pulls back, we enter a short trade. Okay, this should act as a level now of resistance being prior support. This is what we're looking for in the higher time frame trend direction. Now, once we establish this is going to be our entry, we look to take the trade with a predetermined risk. So we need to position size to make sure we never lose more than, say, a quarter percent of the uh, trading account or maybe maximum half percent. If you're starting off in trading, if you're doing pop uh, assessments, I really suggest you don't trade more than half percent if you want to stay in the game uh, for longer but let's say you're taking a half percent risk um, then of course you position size accordingly your stop is going to be above the swing high point number two okay that's establishing the risk so you never want to enter a trade without knowing where you're going to get out so we always establish uh, the first profit target and the first profit target is going to be at one times risk now here is where you need to use a bit of a discretion um, i suggest you exit the trade um, at one to one, just to take some uh, profits off the table. No one, no one ever got poor by taking uh, taking profits. Now you can enter, or sorry, you can exit maybe 50% uh, of the trade and move balance to break even. That's often the common way that traders trade this. Uh, you may want to exit, um, uh, say, a, a third of the trade or even two thirds of the trade. I want you to play around with this. Everyone is different. I can't tell you what to do because it's how you feel as a trader. Do you feel comfortable being in a risk-free trade, or are you able to take on, um, um, you know, a bit more, um, a bit more of a risk for a bigger gain? Again, that is within you. It's within your personality, and everyone is different. If you're in doubt and you want to follow uh, what a lot of my students do, we exit 50% of the trade and we run the other 50 and we move stops uh, uh, to break even. And TP2, again, is at your discretion. You may want to trail this. You may want to trail this behind um, the, 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 the recent uh, swing high or the, or the, the highest um, of the last five bars or something like that. Again, discretion. And this is what you'd be play, you should be playing with. I want you to go away and do some work on this um, because ultimately it's got to be your strategy uh, and not mine. Um, uh, some people uh, I know successfully will say, well, the first profit target is one times risk. Second profit target is two times risk. That basically means you're getting a one and a half to one risk reward um, on each and every trade. And you've got a really strong trend um, on the high time frame uh, charts. And then this is um, you know, a high probability um, setup. And remember, we can have winning trades. We can have losing trades. We just keep on going um, as we go. No one trade uh, should make you or should break you. We've got the trend direction. We're only trading that side of the trend. We've got to have reasons to enter. That's as good a reason as any. So that's the bearish trend continuation uh, to the downside. Now, this is a pattern you'll see me draw all the time on my live streams. If you ever tune in, this basically is exactly what we're looking for with the direction of the trend. You'll see me drawing these on live charts. I'll show you in a moment. Uh, we jump onto the main screens. Uh, exactly. This is a pattern. Get familiar with that pattern. It's basically the formation um, of this um, entry. Okay, so now we'll look at the bullish trend continuation exactly the same you need the moving averages to be pointing up in this case nicely fanned out the bigger the fan the stronger the trend on the higher time frame on the four hour for example have a look at the daily 
make sure you're not coming into any big, big level of resistance. Okay, so point number one, uh, we ripped the trend. Point number one, this is profit takers come in and we hit um, um, a wave of selling, takes us down to point number two. The predominant trend continues as trends will do. They always have pullbacks along the way to point number three. And then another pullback happens. It's just the natural formation of trends. And we're going to enter now this trend on the pullback at the previous level of resistance, which now should act as support. This is where we place our buy order. Okay, when we place the buy order, we're going to have a stop assigned to the trade, factoring in our um, maximum risk that we're going to risk on this strategy. And we'll have the stop loss uh, below the swing low. Okay, we are still believing in the trend continuation because uh, we've had that confirmed on the higher time frame. And our first profit target is going to be at one times risk. There you may wish to enter, uh, exit half the trade, move balance to break even. Um, and your TP2 again is at your discretion. You may want to trade it behind the, um, the low of the last five bars or something like that. Or you may want to uh, take a two times um, um, two times the risk as well. Again, this is something you need to put uh, some work into. I'm giving you the formations of something now to go away and test. A lot of traders are coming in uh, for the first time. They really have no idea. They're looking at all these different strategies that they're trying out. Um, you know, they see for sale and what have you. The best strategy is the strategy that you put work into, that you've established the rules, you've done your back testing, and you've made um, a plan around that. Okay, so here's an example of a trend that's in play. It's the dollar against the CAD. Higher time frame is, uh, is showing down. This is the 15-minute chart. Just looking here to see if we'd have had any entries um, on the pullback. And there would have been a few in here. I just want to show you uh, this pattern, how it repeats itself time and time again. So here the trend's in play. We have a swing high. We have a swing low. We pull back to the previous level of support. There's an entry there. Uh, then we go again. There's another... Uh, swing low here, it pulls back. Where does it pull back to? The previous level of uh, support. Uh, and then we go again from here down to there, for example. It pulls back. Where does it pull back to? Well, just a little bit higher that time uh, than that swing low. But there's your entry um, as well. Um, this is a good example, actually. Uh, we've got um, another one here. So we've got a new low. It pulls back. Uh, pulls back. Uh, to that entry that maybe this big wick here might have stopped you out actually so we're basically looking uh, for this type of pattern in a downtrend back to the previous high and we're looking for this type of pattern in an uptrend which is basically seeing a new high pulls back previous high uh, for trend continuation um, upwards as well now I have done a cheat sheet on this as I said so download the cheat sheet and leave your um, details there and we'll send it to you straight away um, and you can see these strategies um, in more detail. Also on the cheat sheet uh, there is a trend reversal strategy um, basically looking at the same type of one two three four price action which um, you can use uh, for reversals as well. Quite frankly I think this is all you really need to formulate a really decent high probability trading strategy that you can call your very very own. Okay, get to work. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. What I encourage you to do now is perhaps download the cheat sheet which I prepared for you as well, basically outlining what I've just uh, demonstrated. Then maybe put this into a checklist and go away and do some back testing. Look for these setups and see how they work for you. Once you've done that, you may want to think about implementing them into your trading. You may be, remember, trading is all about keeping it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. And as I said, this is pretty simple stuff. Well, I hope you like the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment as uh, per usual. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, if you don't already do so. And of course, if you hit that bell notification, that way you'll be notified uh, the moment my next video has been released. You can follow us on all the socials, as you well know. Now, as I often say, we are also a prop firm here at the City Traders. That basically means, for those that don't know, we will fund the aspiring trader. If you can prove you can trade, then we will fund the account. And indeed, if you can't trade, 
well, that's where we come in as well. We will help you, we will educate you to get you to where you need to be to pass these POP assessments. If you want to learn more about that, of course, head over to thecitytraders.com um, and uh, you can see all the details in there. And the other good news is now that you can get to keep up to 90% of all the profits that you make and you can withdraw your first profit take at any time you like once you get the live account. Now look, I can't compete with the top prop firms. I don't have 100,000 a month to spend on marketing, but I set myself apart from the other prop firms in that I care and I wanna get you the funding. I wanna hold your hand and get you over the line. That's why we run this vibrant community of like-minded traders here at The City Traders. Head over to thecitytraders.com to learn all about it. Okay, that's about it. I'll see you very soon in the next video. Have a good week.